So we're driving right now. Went for a nice Sunday cruise and uh, well, it's not so nice. So my car has thrown a check engine light. It's running very rough. It definitely has a misfire on one, if not more cylinders. Uh, I think we probably blew a coil pack or something, maybe some spark plugs. I don't know, we're gonna go home, we're gonna check the coils. Hopefully make it home, because the car is running very, very rough. It's yeah. Barely idling. Doesn't sound right either. So basically, we had a we had a misfire. So we pulled all of our our plastic junk off, and we popped these connectors off. They're really easy to come off. They just flick up, and these pull out. This is uh, is our culprit. So we uh, the original cylinder that was misfiring was one. So we just moved the coil from one to two, and uh, our misfire is now on cylinder number two. So, to remedy that issue, we've got a set of uh, coil packs and plugs coming in. We're just going to swap the one that I think is bad, just to see if it fixes the problem. So. That is the bad guy, and slender number two. So now we'll see if that fixes our muffin idle. So since we ruled out our misfire, that's great. I just wanted to get that out of the way. So now we're going to actually swap out all the plugs and the coil packs just to be safe because this is actually pretty common for these cars and uh it's running a stage one tune so it's it was expected to happen at some point yeah just glad it didn't leave me stranded <laughs> typical typical bmw thing so so this is really easy really simple i'm gonna pop off these connectors and yank all these out and uh I will say one thing about these uh, these cars. They're definitely over-engineered, but working on them can take a little more time, but it's not necessarily much harder. It's just, I guess, it's a little, a little less room to work with and a few more, a few more things to take apart, but it's not too bad. I knew it had a large oil leak, but I didn't really know where it was coming from. Because everything's covered up, you can't see anything. And they even have trays underneath the car to catch all the oil that they leak. This car has really given me a hard time. Like I don't think I've ever had a car that has acted up so much in 6,000 kilometers. So, yeah. So I've replaced the, the valve cover, the oil filter housing gasket, all the tensioners and pulleys. We did a walnut blast to it. Radiator also was leaking. Um, a while ago, my water pump went... There's just, there's always, it seems like there's always something with the car. Like, I do, I do still like driving this car. I really like the, the joy it brings me. And the tunability is insane. And although I have had, you know, quite a few issues within 6,000 kilometers, they are all common issues. Mind you, it seems like anything that's bolted to this engine is, is common to fail. So leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys would like to see happen with this car. So we're going to start this thing up now. Just letting this car warm up a little bit and so far it's 
it's great. It's doing good. Coil packs and plugs fixed it. So that's good. Super, super positive news for, well, me, I guess. This car is running good now. Feels a little smoother than before. 